So last night we had a 7.1 earthquake that rocked the house. It was a side-to-side -side motion, and it was kind of scary. Um, right after it ended, I grabbed my kids, Paul, got them outside. Once they were secured, I went inside. I grabbed all my emergency preparedness stuff that I had. I had a big five-gallon bucket, and I pulled that out. And once I got that out, I then went back in and started pulling things that I knew I would need if there really was, you know, if something else happened. Because I was kind of concerned that it was, uh, the one before was a little smaller and then it, it kind of grew. And I still am concerned. But at least I know I'm prepared. Um, I, one of the things I did too was in between running in out of the house and getting prepared, uh, stuff I needed was to fill uh, those containers with water. Because I know that water around here is a problem old lines would definitely would break and uh, within a half an hour after the quake I had pretty much everything I needed to cook the food that I had I had um, pulled everything out that I needed um, after the kids I went in and got my computer my hard drive to all my work on it make sure that was safe and secured I grabbed a bag with extra clothes I'm tired. <laughs> and then we slept in the tent, obviously. So, be ready. Be prepared. And remember what's more important to you and focus on priorities. You know, it's very easy to become frustrated and to not think straight when you're having an emergency like that. So, it's really important that you stay calm and you think priorities. What do you need to survive? Okay, so that's my little uh, piece of advice for everyone. Be prepared. Keep a little bag with all those things that you might need. Water. You know, actually, you should get one of those uh, emergency kits they have at Home Depot. They're little five-gallon buckets. Let me just show you what it is. And inside, it's got everything you need to survive for two weeks. It's got toilet stuff. That was the other thing I went and got. Toiletries, soap. Water. Oh, I drank. Here we go. Yeah, you for an emergency office kit. Five people survival kit for a three day supply. This thing has everything you need. It's got food bars, 15 water boxes, 50 water purification tablets, five emergency blankets. It's got a tube tent, an AM FM radio with batteries, but it's solar power generator. Flashlight, cold red batteries, light sticks, first aid kit, a whistle with a lantern, dust masks, vinyl gloves, work gloves, five tissue packets, 12 sanitation bags, one package of toilet chemicals, and a snap-on toilet seat, and a five-gallon container. <laughs> so please, be prepared, be ready for it. You know, we've been talking about this earthquake that could come my entire life. Right, Paul? Just remember, the only thing that's important is your safety. You and your kids. So everything else can be replaced, but you can't. All right. Thanks for listening.